like to say, or should we go straight to questions? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if anyone has any questions, uh, we'd love to. Uh, just I, I, wanna, I just want to thank everybody for for coming here to see the film, and um, we're really uh, very proud to have the film here and show it in the heart. We're, we're so happy. We have a first question, I think, down here. Yes, this is for Vanessa. Um, how does a project, how do you get catch wind of a project like this? And when you do find out about it, how did you make your decision ultimately to be in? Um, it was another script that was kind of floating around that my agents brought to my attention. And uh, I remember giving it a read and just automatically knew that I had to be a part of this project. Um, and I remember my agents being a little bit weary, like curious as to why I was so passionate about pursuing this. And um, I was just, I, I knew from, from the very beginning that I could do it and that I would transform myself and then it would be a groundbreaking moment for me as an actor to fulfill myself and uh, give myself some creative freedom. Um, so they were behind me 100%, and I went in and read for Ron and gave it everything that I got, sent him an email, and I just expressed to him how, how much I wanted to be a part of the film. And um, I don't know, I've always been a gut person, so when something's speaking to me, that's all I really listen to. Hi, I'm Olivia McCash, and I made Tree of Life. Hi, I'm Carol Nguyen, and I made Uprooted. All right, and we have a filmmaker over here, yeah, so let hi. him go with the first question. Hi, yeah, sorry, jump right in. Um, I, it, stunningly, I mean, it's really, really great to have this opportunity to actually see your work. And, you know, to start start with that scene to show us what, what, what you had to offer. You, all three projects that you, you guys represent were really, really great, and a great job. Um, the one question I have for all of you is how long did it take you for each one to, to put that together? I mean, from the idea to the point where you, know, you were like, okay, I'm done. Oh, um, I, I guess I didn't think it took that long, but my mom says it took like three months, apparently. <laughs> uh, it went by pretty fast for me, but um, I don't know. I, uh, I thought of the idea, I guess November maybe, of last year, and then I filmed in December, and then I guess I finished editing, what? April, oh, wow. April, okay. <laughs> Um, no, it wasn't a class assignment. I wanted to finish it in time for a festival at my school, but um, I originally did it just because I was bored, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess it's that long. Um, it took me about two years to make the collages just because I really wanted meaningful words and pictures. Um, and as far as filming, it took a few weeks just because uh, the whole thing fell down, so I had to nail it back into the wall. So that is just the shortened uh, setup. Um, and it took me about a week to edit. So um, for me, it took about two to three weeks to find supplies and cut paper, and I had my mom help me while she offered. And she wasn't very good help. <laughs> she would cut my dad's head off at times, <laughs> and then she convinced me to tape his head back on. <laughs> but it looked horrible, so I fired her. Um, <laughs> it took me, um, I started at 8 o'clock, then I ended at 2 a.m. to film it, because I wanted to film it in a day, so no lighting changes or dramatic changes. And then to edit, it took about three days. Discovery in the process. Oh. My most important discovery ever that will probably help me in my future films is duct tape is the most useful thing on no. set ever. 
<laughs> you can duct tape possibly anything, and it's like a dollar. You can duct tape your camera to your tripod, your tripod to the floor, your lamp to the desk, your background, your book, and your light yourself. Just duct tape a bunch of things. It's like my favorite thing in the world. What was your most important discovery in the process? I don't know. I guess I just wish I would have known that earlier because <laughs> I swear. Um, since it took a few weeks to film, it would have been a really good idea to duct tape the tripod down because, you know, like, the cat runs in and runs into the tripod and then it's all over, but you can't really go back. So, yeah, that would be a discovery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Duct tape the tripod. <laughs> um, mine was to find some patient actors, um, which I did um, because I was filming in, like, the middle of December in my my neighborhood pool bathroom and like a cement like bathroom and it was like the most cold situation I've ever been in and my poor actress was wearing like a nightgown on a cold metal table and like she's like shivering she's like fine no it's fine don't worry about it um, so I I definitely learned and then the other two doctors were like in coats and they were like oh, this is the coldest situation I've ever been in and they're like whining so it was like Finding like these really patient people to work with was like really helpful. So that was what I learned to work with. My parents supported me a lot, and I also have a sister who was there during the shooting. Um, obviously, the film was about my dad, so it was very personal, and he helped me through understanding his emotions and how how he dealt with them during the time. Um, my mom, she was like my number one fan. She gave me more support than I needed. It was annoying at some times, but I dealt with it. And um, my sister is one of my best friends. So she's also a very brutal, honest person in my life. It's nice. Um, yeah, my family's really supportive. My parents are right over there. Um, but yeah, they provide all the equipment for me, which is great, and they deal with the loud hammering from my room. Um, and yeah, I in all my other videos, I use my siblings. I have a brother and a sister, and we're triplets, so we're really close. Um, so yeah, they were in my video a lot. It's like why there were so many pictures of the same little threesome. But yeah, so they've been my actors for all my movies, and they're really supportive, and yeah. Um, yeah, my parents are really they're great. Um, I, I mean, I, I make these weird, you know, like, twisted films, and so I always tell them, like, I got this great idea, and they're like, uh, okay. And they're like, do your thing, and, but, you know, they, um, they're really supportive, you know, they're running out in the middle of the winter with, like, hot chocolate for me and stuff, and, you know, same thing, I'm like, yeah, I need, like, a $400 camera, uh, go get it, and you know, I'll pay them back later, but, um, yeah, no, they're great, you know, they, that's, like, my favorite part is, you know, when, if they like my film, then it's sort of like I did a good job, so that's the exciting part.
TV shows now, but he, he made a movie called Car Wash in the 70s. Some of you historians might know. He, his name's Michael Schultz. He's a good friend of ours. And, he, and we were having lunch, and he said, look, you've got so many friends in Berlin, and so much, you know, you guys are so well known there. Why don't you do it there? It'll be so much easier for you to shoot it in Berlin than in LA. So I thought, huh. So I call, we called uh, some friends in Berlin, and they said, great idea. So we talked to a German screenwriter that we know there, and I said, hey, you want to flip this into German and work with me on it, and I'll, uh, I'll give you a co-writing credit? And she said, yeah, I like it. Let's do it. So we, we did that. And basically, that's how this turned it from an L.A. story into a Berlin story. And I just changed the story to, company, uh, to bring in things from, from Berlin. So anyone? I see a hand up there. Last thing to notice, we, uh, we were up very early. Uh, I think 5 a.m. was when we were shooting. And Denis, on the opening scene with the motorcycle going through the, by the gate and so on and by the, the statue, that was 5 a.m. or 5.30, and it was freezing. And it's the summer, but it's still Berlin. So Denis's supposed to be like, oh, I love summer, Berlin in the summer, and he's freezing to death. And in between, when at every stop, like we're giving him coffee, you know, and top drinks, and he's like shaking. But he was a good trooper, and we, we, we were able to get those scenes. Robin wants to add. And then the other scene um, by the gate was when he was on the three wheel bicycle, right, trying to get to the set. <laughs> and we were kind of concerned about that because that was the afternoon. And we thought, there's going to be a lot of tourists around there, but we just got to go for it and see what happens. And the nice thing about staying in Berlin is you can get around on bicycle. And you can get around on bus and tram and walk everywhere. So that day when we shot, there were 20 of us on bicycles riding to Tiergarten, riding to the gate to film it, which was a lot of fun. And then we got there, and you know there was pretty crowded. But then there were some times when there was a little bit of less traffic flow. So we said, "Okay, go." You know, we just had to pick it up how we could, and it worked out. Really tight. It's a it's a technique for camera for handheld. When you pull the strap really tight and you sort of bend down, you can get almost like a steady cam. And what that does is it gives us it it, it gives it a, a little bit of a sort of like the uh, born identity kind of stuff where it's moving a little. That's the trade-off. It's not that it's not completely smooth, but it makes it a little more real and a lot easier to shoot because I don't have to set up a rail, you know, between every scene and move the rail. I don't have to spend 20 minutes moving a rail to here. All I do is go, okay, we're doing your close-up and we're ready to go. So that's what we we decided. It's kind of a it's it's a fairly new technique that we were experimenting with, and I, I think it worked okay. So we're going to try to perfect that. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, thanks so much, everybody. And, uh, and my good friend duct tape because without duct tape I wouldn't be able to make my film. You were very good to me during pre-production and filming. Um, so yeah, duct tape. <laughs>
I am so proud of you for what you've done with this movie. Really, it's come a ways, and I'm just so proud of the courage that you brought. And uh, I'm so grateful for you taking a risk with me and having faith in me. So thank you. And uh, of course, the amazing Kathy DeFiore. Uh, you are someone who we all admire. I speak for everyone here. Uh, the work that you've done and just giving yourself up for others is beyond admirable. It's just so beautiful and I, I thank you. I love you so much for everything that you do. Um, and I want to thank our Heavenly Father for allowing us to be here and having this moment together. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. God bless and go Colts! <laughs>